it's a felony offense. We are taking this very, very seriously. Uh, there's a very thorough criminal investigation ongoing now. A month after dozens of trees were illegally cut in Solomon's Island's maritime forest, residents and officials continue to search for answers. The public is extremely angry over this, as, a, as are town council members. Police continue to investigate, but town leaders believe under state law, those responsible could face a felony, something that had been unclear. Damage is uh, more than $10,000. Uh, that it could lead, a conviction could lead to not only a fine, but it, or it could lead to imprisonment. Under the law, more than $10,000 in damage is punishable up to 10 years in jail. Less than 10, but more than $2,000 of damage could get up to five years. Sullivan's Island Mayor Pat O'Neill believes it's a start, but says more should be done. In a way to produce very severe consequences so that nobody ever thinks that it's just simply the cost of doing business. Town leaders will discuss stronger penalties at town council next week and consider security cameras and other protection for the forest. We also will need to step up our surveillance of the maritime forest and uh, find some more ways to detect this kind of activity. Garen Baiko, an island resident and president of Solomon's Island for All, is hopeful those responsible will be held accountable. So I think these are, these are very serious penalties. We think that this will uh, likely deter people from moving forward.